we want to solve the compound inequality and then express the solution using interval notation. A compound inequality is two or more inequalities connected by the words or or and. Notice in this example the two inequalities are connected by the word or, which means the solution of this compound inequality will consist of all the values that satisfy this inequality or the ones that satisfy this inequality. So we'll be combining the solutions of these two inequalities to determine the solution of this compound inequality. And the word or also means union, so we'll be combining the two solution sets. To do this, we're going to solve each of these and then graph both solution sets on the number line and then interpret the results. So we'll first solve 15x minus 3 is greater than 9x plus 15. And then we'll solve negative 23 plus 4x is greater than or equal to 12x plus 1. So notice that we have variables on both sides of the inequality. So the first step is to get the variable terms on one side. So we can undo positive 9x by subtracting 9x on both sides. 15x minus 9x would be 6x. This would be 0 and then we have 15. So for the next step we'll add 3 to both sides. This would be 0. So we have 6x is greater than 18. And now we'll divide both sides by 6. So we have x is greater than 3. Since 3 does not satisfy this inequality, it's not on the interval. So we'll make an open point on 3. And then for values greater than 3, we'll have an arrow to the right. And now we'll go ahead and solve the second inequality. Again, notice we have x on both sides of the inequality. And since most prefer to have the variable terms on the left side, let's go ahead and subtract 12x on both sides. So we'd have negative 23, and this would be minus 8x. It's greater than or equal to, this would be 0, and then we have 1. Now we'll add 23 to both sides. This would be 0, we have negative 8x is greater than or equal to 24. The last step here is to divide by negative 8. But remember, when dividing by a negative, we have to reverse the inequality symbol. So we'll have x, and then instead of greater than or equal to, we'll have less than or equal to negative 3. Notice how negative 3 does satisfy this inequality because of the equal part. So we'll make a closed point on negative 3, and then an arrow to the left because we want values less than negative 3. So this would be the graph of our solution. Now let's go ahead and express this using interval notation. As we move to the right on the number line, we approach positive infinity. As we move to the left, we approach negative infinity. So this will help us write the interval notation. On the left, we have the interval from negative 3 to negative infinity closed on negative 3. That would look like this use a square bracket to show that it includes the endpoint. And then we can use the word or, or u for union. And then we have the interval from three to infinity when it's open on three. So we have a rounded parenthesis for three and a parenthesis for infinity. Here's our solution expressed using interval notation. And that's going to do it for this example. I hope you found this helpful.